La Lesson de Geography or La Tache Noire, the Geography Lesson or the Black Stain or the Black Spot, as it is sometimes called, is a painting by Albert Batania, who was born in 1851 and died in 1932. And this painting was first exhibited in 1887. Before I go on to talk about the painting, a little bit of background to the painter is useful in helping us to place the painting in in its historical and social context. Nicolas Albert Bitania was born in Metz in the Lorraine region of France. Being located in Lorraine, Metz is close to the border with Germany. And Lorraine, along with the neighbouring Alsace areas, were disputed territories claimed by the French but annexed by Germany at the end of the Franco-Prussian War. The Franco-Prussian War began in July 1870 and continued until January the following year. And during that war, the siege of Metz lasted just over two months from August to October 1870 with a besieged French army running short of food supplies, surrendering to Prussian forces at the end of October. Following the defeat of the French in the Franco-Prussian War, the Treaty of Frankfurt, signed in May 1871, annexed Metz as a part of Lorraine along with Alsace. And so the region of Alsace-Lorraine, a once French territory, was now part of the German Empire. After the defeat of France in in the war and the ceding of Alsace-Lorraine, which included his home city of Metz, the painter Britannia retained his French citizenship and moved to Paris. This brief background to Britannia and to his home region is important to understand the significance of this painting. The painting is set in darkness. The schoolroom is dark, the black ceiling lamp is not lit, and most of the boys are dressed in dark clothes. There are some notable exceptions, and we will return to these in due course. So the painting depicts a classroom, a teacher pointing to a map, in this case a map of France. We know the painter is French and so we are invited to assume that it is a French schoolroom. The regions of France are differentiated through different colours. At the time Britannia painted La Tache Noire, we know that under the reformers of Jules Ferry, geography and the ability to read a map had been introduced into the curriculum of French schools. Olsen, 2018, discusses how these education reforms sought to cultivate a cartographically literate population and how maps of France served to define the territory of France. The defeat of France in the war was a motive for this educational development. As Olsen discusses, a contributing factor to that defeat was perceived to be a lack of geographic knowledge amongst the French. If we look more closely at the painting, we can see that not only is the schoolmaster pointing to France, that much is obvious, but more significantly he is pointing to Alsace-Lorraine. Richard Thompson in The Troubled Republic, Visual Culture and Social Debate in France, 1889-1900, discusses how maps were used in French schoolrooms and he notes how the educational maps with dark, different colouring gave Alsace-Lorraine a deliberately indeterminate quality, not yet German and not anymore French. Indeed, the Alsace-Lorraine area where the schoolmaster is pointing to is black. It appears territorially as a part of France, but it is coloured differently from any of the other regions of France on the map. Alsace-Lorraine is therefore La Tache Noire, or the Black Stain. It represents a humiliating defeat. To the right of the map is a blackboard, but even this has significance in this 
painting. It isn't there just to depict a blackboard, a ubiquitous part of a schoolroom. It represents the land to the east of France, Germany, the victors of the war. Beyond the blackboard is a drum, again not merely an item of the classroom, but it serves to indicate the military threat of Prussian forces from the east. Another map hanging in the schoolroom faces us. This is a map of Paris. In front, a dark, unlit, sprawling ceiling lamp stretches out over the map, capturing the shape of the city. And so we see that that represents the Prussian siege of Paris that culminated in the end of the Franco-Prussian War and the defeat of France. However, amidst these symbols of the dark stain of defeat, of which these schoolboys are being taught, there are symbols of hope and future victory focused on reclaiming these lost lands. In the foreground of the painting, light shines on the floor, seemingly from the window, but it is difficult to see how this would happen in this dark room. The light is symbolic, producing a Croix de Lorraine or Cross of Lorraine, the sim symbol of the Lorraine region lost to Germany. Contrasting with the darkness and the black stain, the light and the cross of Lorraine offers hope. Then we can turn to the boy standing at the front of the class, the schoolmaster's hand on his shoulder. What could this mean? An act of reassurance, maybe. The boy is looking forward at the map to where the schoolmaster is pointing, the black stain, and he is stepping, or at least preparing to step, or march forward. We can see he is wearing what looks like a military uniform, reflective of the school battalions established in French schools in the 1880s. These battalions, as discussed by Canini, were popular in the east of France, those areas closest to the German border. Through these battalions, schoolboys would practice drill and marching in preparation for future military lives. There are other signs of militarization of schooling here. Immediately behind the boy standing, we see another boy on the front row wearing white, in contrast to his classmates, who are all wearing dark clothing. The contrast is important here. The boy dressed in white, contrasting with the darkness around him, is a sign of hope. He wears a medal on his chest. This medal is the Légion d'Honneur, a medal awarded for military and civil merits. It is the highest order of merit awarded in France. How can this be? He's only a boy. Again, it is symbolic and represents the future and the honour yet to be achieved. Glossac discusses this in more detail, commenting on the position of the boy and comparing it to the position of B Bismarck in Anton von Werner's The Declaration of the German Empire. Further on from this boy, on the far side of the schoolroom, is a rack of rifles, again reflecting a theme of militarisation and representing the school b battalions where schoolboys also practised shooting.